Hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I know it has been a while. I have been so busy. I have been traveling. I have been doing things with my kids. I've been doing stuff with my husband. Uh, and so I have legit neglected my YouTube channel, but uh, <laughs> I'm back. Um, kind of was thinking about, okay, True disclosure, I am not someone who is big on watching television videos or anything. So as a result, I find myself saying, if you are not really into watching videos, say, you know, Netflix, YouTube, what have you, why do you think anybody else is going to want to watch you? Because um, you yourself aren't doing it. And I realized, you know, I do go to YouTube when I need something. I do go to YouTube if I find somebody's content is interesting and I'm gonna learn something from them. So I had to almost change my mindset in regards to, well, you know, you don't really do YouTube, so why even bother because nobody else is going to watch you versus saying, okay, you know what? When you come on YouTube, on your YouTube channel, make sure that you are talking about things that other people will care about, other people will engage, and other people will be curious and wanna come back to hear what you have to say because they know you aren't big in this type of connections with you know people, audiences, or whatever. So if you get on here, clearly it's because you have something to share. share. So I say all that to say I am back. I. Um, I have been doing what I love. I am a, I think I've mentioned it before, uh, you know, my family, we're expat family. My husband's job makes us go to different locations. Uh, we've been to Japan, we've been to Mexico, now we're in Panama. And as a result, I've had to reinvent myself. And so that has been with photography. And about right before the pandemic. So maybe in 2018, 2019, I decided that I needed to merge what I love. I love to travel and I love photography. And I also do documentary photography. So I was like, okay, how can I also incorporate that? And so I started a business model where people legit hire me to capture moments for them when they are having experiences on their vacations. So it could be somebody that's visiting my area and says, you know, I want somebody to document my experience. Okay, I'm in Panama right now. So say they're going to the canal. They want me to come with them. They want me to document, you know, what they're doing, their interactions with people, their, their interaction with the surroundings or what have you. And then I uh, create for them um, some type of memento. For me, I normally create albums, uh, vacation albums. And so I started to talk about that more. And as a result, I'm getting more people to hire me to go on vacation with them. So that's why I've been busy. I was just, last month, I got to go for 11 days in the Galapagos. I never fathomed that somebody would literally take me on vacation with them for that long. And the job was basically to document somebody's 55th birthday for 11 days with 32 of her closest friends. And it was like bucket list, defining moment. Oh my God, you know, I never, I thought about Galapagos, but not really thinking I'd go, you know, it wasn't something that it was like, oh, I gotta get to Galapagos. It was, if I get there, I get there. And oh my gosh, I mean, we went to Quito first and I won't lie, the, the altitude there is a beast. It was a beast for me. I, I got sick um, from altitude sickness. Thank God that I was able to continue on with my journey to Galapagos because I was scared for a minute. Um, I just, you know, it was just a lot for me body-wise. From the moment I arrived, I was breathing heavy, I was struggling and so, but I went to Quito and, you know, documented um, all her birthday festivities and all that. And then we go to 
Galapagos and we're on this private expedition yacht. We're going to all the different islands. We're seeing animals. We're interacting with the animals. And I'm just there being in the moment, but also capturing uh, what's happening with my client and her friends and them interacting with me, them forgetting that I have my camera. And as a result, um, I'm getting more of those jobs. So I am so, so excited about that. And uh, after that trip, me and my family, we, had, we always do a big family vacation in December. And so we went to Kenya and we did the whole uh, Masi Mara uh, safari. We were lions right next to our Jeep, guys. Uh, we got to see all the animals that people struggled to see. We got to see the leopard. We got to see the rhino. We got to see the elephants. We got to see the water buffaloes. We got to see the giraffes, uh, the lions, um, wildebeest, everything. I mean, I was just, it was, it's, it made me realize this, the Galapagos and then going to Kenya made me realize this is what is supposed to happen. This, this is how animals are supposed to be. They're supposed to be free. They're supposed to be unafraid. They're supposed to be uh, in their nat natural habitat. And so it was so good to see like marine life and then land animals and, and all of it just kind of merging together in my December. So uh, I am now, because I have also decided that I need to do something with all these images that I'm taking, especially my images of animals, landscape, uh, street photography. So I just created um, an account where I am working on a photography store where I am going to be selling um, my best prints. And I'm calling right now, I really do need a, an assistant because I have so many pictures that I am really trying to go through. But needless to say, I am doing that. And uh, it, it, it gave me such fulfillment to go on this trip to the Galapagos, Ecuador Galapagos, as well as Kenya. And it made me realize that um, there is something beautiful when you can just be in the moment, when people see you uh, just being in the moment, being your authentic self, and what a blessing it is for somebody to be there to capture that so you don't have to hand somebody your cell phone or, or, or set up a tripod. Not saying those things aren't good, because I do that too. I mean, especially me going on solo vacations and I am the photographer, of course, if I want somebody to capture me in this moment or whatever, I'm gonna hand on my camera. But I also think sometimes we don't think of the importance of being present and not having to worry about, okay, let me pose, let me do this, let me do that, and just have somebody just there to take your picture. So, that's what I'm doing now. Um, also, just I got with a really amazing group here in Panama. I know uh, some of you found me via my Rashida video about my life in Panama. It was rough that first year, but uh, I am doing well. I am with a group of black women that are like myself that are in Panama just doing life and we do things together and it's so fulfilling. It's so fulfilling to me to be around people who just understand. I don't have to explain anything. I don't have to uh, act like things are okay when they're not. I, I can just be, because uh, I see me. And uh, you know, people who have children my children's age or in college or whatever. And it's just been, it's been actually what my soul needed to be my full self here in Panama. So. Uh, I'm doing good. I will um, start doing some lives. I was told that I need to kind of get more uh, on this live spiel so people can talk to me, ask me questions, especially, you know, if they want to know certain things about Panama or my travels or who I use on tours or what have you, or how I got into doing what I'm doing for a living and how does it... Uh, intertwine with my family life since you know I am 
in this country with my husband and my daughter. And so, um, and you know, having a college kid, like parenting, you know, in another country and your kids in another country. So I said I was going to uh, start doing live. So uh, this is just me saying I'm back. Uh, I, I took a little break. I was trying to figure out this YouTube thing, but like I said, um, I follow people who I, I'm getting something from and so if I am going to be that way I need to be able to if I'm gonna do this YouTube channel to also give people things that they can utilize and so you know this is my YouTube channel musings of a black expat woman uh, my name is Roxanne Munson uh, and I just I'm just happy to be and so I just want to say you guys thank you for the followers that I do have and I will be uh, back very soon. Like I said, I'm going to start doing some lives. So expect for me to be clicking and, you know, I'm popping up on the screen and whoever shows up, we're going to just have a conversation. So until then, bye.